Moving on with our bulletin, the National Union of Public Service and Allied Workers, NPSO, are teaming up with Discam pharmacy workers for a nationwide strike. This follows a dispute between the retail giant and some of its employees. NPSO says workers are being denied recognition and organizational rights. Employees were also not paid bonuses in December last year. The group demands that workers get higher wages, better working conditions, and to demand the union's rights to represent workers. But Discam could not meet the union's demands. The dispute between the two was then referred to the Commission for Conciliation, Mediation and Arbitration in December 2017. But the matter remained unresolved. Nipso said the employer's stubborn and extreme behaviour regarding the union's organisational rights has left the group with no other option but to call for workers to down their tools. We are here in Midrand, outside Discam main distribution centre, which is said to be the headquarters for Discam, where employees are protesting against the, the, the company, not allowing them to establish a union, regardless of having acquired the 51, the 50 percent plus one, in order for them to qualify to establish a union here within Discam, which means that uh, these employees now are not being able to negotiate matters like salary increment as well as working hours. They have said that this camp has refused to give them a bonus in December last year but also in terms of the Labor Relations Act, they are not allowing them to establish this union that they want to establish here because they say that there are some unions that are within the company that have uh, made an agreement or an arrangement with the management in order for them not to, 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 to put forward the needs and the grievances of the employees, but rather make sure that they serve the, the interest of the employers. We tried to speak to management of this camp, which was just here outside a short while ago, but they refused to speak to the media, saying that they do not want their company to...